Hey, so in this video I want to show you something brand new available in PCDMS 2019 R1. So they've added a new edit tool to the report window. So you can see it here. It's just a little pencil there. So this allows you to edit an existing template that is preloaded into PCDMS. So we have our existing template shown here. We have CAD only, uh, PPAP, etc. So what this new tool allows you to do is edit a report that's existing from one of the templates. So when I click the button, I'm essentially in the custom report editor, but I already have an existing report. So I can change my report. I can actually drag dimensions around. I can even get rid of the header if I wanted. I have access to the object bar that allows me to put it like a text box, for example change the font size if I like and just type in whatever I want I can center that so I have all the tools available to me that come with the custom report editor so if I just highlight this object here I can just center with this button here and I can do that with any uh, object on the page just center right away I can add images, I can add an, a CAD image if I like. So over here on the object bar, just press the CAD image button, drag a box, and there's my CAD. Other things I can do is I can actually add a new page. Like if I just press this plus symbol over here, I have a second page now. I can do analysis, a quick analysis on say a circularity dimension. You can see over there in my edit window in summary mode. So here's the analysis window button. Just press that, drag a box, and then drag my dimension into the box. And there's my analysis of my circularity dimension. So it's kind of nice, gives us a little more flexibility. Uh, prior to this, this was a read-only window. I couldn't uh, change anything in this view. I had to actually open up a template to make the change, which was a uh, a little bit of work and it uh, you really needed to know what you're doing okay so once we're done that and we have it the way we like we just save it we can save it under a name if we want um, default name custom report one I can just call it my uh, one-off report and save it and I can switch back to the default templates if I want uh, when I want to recall that uh, new report, I just open up the custom report selection dialog and you can see it there. So there's that one I just did, my one-off report. I can open that, have access to that at, at any time. Um, another nice feature with this uh, edit on the fly type of tool is I can just remove things, just a couple things that I don't want in an existing report. I've had uh, students ask me how do I get rid of, rid of the color bar so I'd had to tell them open up the template remove it save it under a different name but now what we can do is just press the edit button click on the color bar and hit delete and then save it then I can just call it whatever cat only no no color bar here we go so quick and easy um, lots of things you can do there you can load images you can do graphs all sorts of things so it's a it's a freeing up our editing capability um, which was a little difficult in the past but they've uh, really come a long way with this tool okay so that's about it um, I hope you found that useful thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time